Welcome, welcome to Yankee. Um, this is the second part of the, of the project that we're working on. Um, these are the swags of the proscenium arch of this little theatrical bow. Um, oh, it's a bow. So, <laughs> so, so um, we're just trying to get the, the the swags to be even on both sides. So Leonardo. And I are are doing this. There's Leonardo's working on the port side, and I'm on the starboard I'm side. side. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I think you're. I think you're right. This one needs to come down a little bit. A little bit. This not your side. Yours is good. Mine's a little behind. Oh, my Tamil manuals. Do you want to come and look at my mom? Here's my mom. My mother, her name was Alma Beth, and this is her, one of her sisters, named Roberta, and the other sister, Alva Jean. <laughs> it's dusty look. <laughs> and they, they were performers during the war, um, and, and between the wars, and um, they used to perform at the UF, is it called UFOs or USOs? The United States. Um, they were like these beautiful um, theaters. And they would do all kinds of amazing things. They recorded, they had records of their piano playing, the, with the three of them playing the piano. And they had these amazing dances that they did with um, um, tap dances with uh, a whole orchestra and their little feet would just go like little motors. So they were from that period, you know, when Shirley Temple was dancing also. And um, so they worked between the wars and in the war. Uh, actually, no, this was between the wars because by the time the war came, my mother was grown up. So it was maybe in the, in the mid twenties. So there they are. <laughs> They're probably doing, um, they, they actually had beautiful kilts that they wore also. I'll have to show you some pictures of that sometime. We might as well have fun whilst we're struggling here. <laughs> okay. I, I think we've got enough to work. We've got enough. Second. Yeah, for now, for sure. We'll deal with all these in a minute. <laughs> okay, let's see. How do we think we, it looks? It looks maybe a little bit more on this one. Just a wee, like one link, one link, just from here. One twist. Oh, I see. There is your problem again. There you go. There, that's enough. That's enough. Mm -hmm. mm, I think, yeah. Too much, actually. No, it's okay. You can pull it back a, ba a bit. Oh. <laughs> one more. Back one more. Link. Just one. Actually not, no, I think now, let's try. Yeah, and then we'll bring this one down. Just in general, see how it has this layered uh -huh. feeling. So you don't want it to look flat, flat. but <clears throat> but the layer, so some of the thinner ones come down and they intermingle a little bit, you okay. know. And, um, and I like it when it, it looks good. when it's kind of going this way a bit, uh, it's never going to do what we want no. because humidity is just going to change it all the time. But <clears throat> that looks good. That looks really beautiful. Yeah. You know what I'm, I would love to do? I would love to have um, curtains going behind here, you know, that we could close and open and have a performance. We used to have a lot of performances here. Oh, yeah, we had concerts, we had one act plays where um, the actor, it was an incredible story. It was the story of a famous dancer from Austria um, and this was the grand or the great granddaughter of this famous dancer from Austria, a, a ballet dancer and her whole story, it was just beautiful. It was a mono, a mono monologue but it was like a it was like a play because she acted at all the different stages of her great grandmother 
it was amazing. And then what else did we have? Um, oh, we've had lectures, lectures on ferry boats. So my channel mammals, I, we're actually letting you see some of the biggest problems on Yankee right now. And here we are making a proscenium arch. Oh, yeah. And, but look at the wood, the beams that need to be cut out and it, they're so rotted in certain places where the, the leaking has stopped, but they, oh, actually I rather like that. No? It might be a little, well, it might be a little too much, but you know what? I don't think it's bad. Maybe let's just make this one follow suit here. Uh, this one a little Is bit Is that more? the hard one to do? I can try. See, this looks wonky because... Don't you um, think it's better, another one here? Oh, no. It, it's because like... it's, it's uh, been uh, hanging yeah. whilst yeah, we were I, I waiting. Really Let's try pulling this up a wee bit, just to help to easy. make it behave. It's out of control. Good, that's good. Excellent, excellent. Keep going, keep going. More? Yeah. <laughs> okay, for now, that's good. That's okay? Yeah, I think, <clears throat> I hope. Well, it has a long journey to go, but maybe we're about there. Oh, so channel mammals, I would, if you need me, just interrupt, okay, Leonardo. Um, I was thinking a lot about this this morning. Um, I know Richard said, "Oh, why, why didn't, why don't we, didn't we film the work we did this morning?" And you know, it's only like not even lunchtime yet. <laughs> and um, last night on our way back from church, it was a Wednesday evening service. Um, we got a phone call. I was driving, and. Uh, Vitali, the man who runs this factory, this, this old building on the other side of the wharf, said, Victoria, the water line's leaking, so I have to turn it off. And, um, and I said, oh, okay. And we were so tired. And I thought, oh, well, luckily, we got to the hardware store um, before it closes. I guess it closes at 9.30 or 10 o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock. And so we got there just in time. And we went in, and, and Vitali had given a whole description of what kind of resolution he thought was going to be strong enough for all these heavy trucks that have to go along the wharf here for their work. So we got the kinds of things we needed, and we were out there in the early morning mist and in the muck and the mess and trying to do all this work. And I thought, I said, no, we don't want to show things like that because it's not really interesting as a visual experience. It's people have enough problems of their own <laughs> besides having to live through ours <laughs> and so but then i thought you know is this is this wh why people misunderstand and think that uh, we're rich is that we only show pretty things <laughs> i mean they're not exactly pretty but um i'm sure we've shown enough things <laughs> but and i just thought this is where it misleads the world because the world thinks it's always greener on the other side or, oh, these people have such a perfect life and, and we don't show all the grit. But it's only because I, I think we don't need to show all of that. Um, there, there are enough interesting things to show that are also beautiful. So it's a, it's a hard thing, you know, to juggle um, because everyone would just turn it off if all we showed was us, you know, cleaning the pipes or, you know, fixing, you know, some leak or something. So <clears throat> it's a hard thing. You know, you can see why uh, media has confused society and made people feel that they should have something more that, than they have, and so they feel needy that they don't have enough or enough, or uh, an interesting enough life or something like that when it's only because we all have interesting and uninteresting things, you know, that we need to accomplish, but we just, we just don't need to dwell on, on things that aren't terribly interesting, if you know what I mean. I just want to be right up front with you and say, this is fun and this is lovely, but we're doing it when <laughs> we have to fix <laughs> these major beams, um, cutting out the wood, bringing in others, everything becomes a mess. Um, all kinds of things have happened that have um, harmed the ship and you know we have we have a lot of things that aren't very 
interesting, and you'll probably never see us work on them. Also, if it's all hands on deck and it's an emergency and there are problems, of course we don't get that shown either. And some of the most important things we've done, most interesting actually things, often also aren't shown because it's just too hectic to stop and think about a video. So a video is not 100% real, real. I mean, this is 100% real. Um, we're not going to take this down after we finish. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's not the proportion. It's not, it's not in perfect proportion. But that's important to remember, always. OK, how's it going over here? <laughs> how far did, how much did we get? Oh, that's yeah. not, that looks good enough to me. Uh, yeah, it's, it's still more on this side, but um, I think it's done. Oh, wow, how do you do? I think it looks great. I think we might want to do one more tug of those small lines, you know, mm -hmm. and then we're, we're done. Moving that over will change a little. Okay. But it's, it's just what we wanted. <whistles> and down. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good lunch, my channel mammals? This is a good time to finish up my conversation with you. Um, I was just thinking about what I started to say inside before we split for a break. About, um, oh, I, I don't really like the word decorating. We think of something else. I'm not sure what it is, but the idea is, um, how, how do we um, embrace our dwelling, uh, whatever that may be? And um, I, I feel that um, Mackenzie Childs might have um, made a huge movement in history of, of dwellings and living in a good way, but also possibly in a... Um, a little bit of a, a skew um, sense of things that might be putting undue pressure on on society in certain places at certain times. I mean, this isn't serious, but <laughs> just something to think about because it's something that I think is, is really fun to, to embrace and then carry on just the way each of us are. And whatever that is, is the way to be. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. There's not a, I'm really trying hard to take away all plan, all design, all uh, uh, formula of periods of decoration. And that's hard to do because when you think of history, there are movements throughout history and each one is, is uh, understood by its beginning, its middle, and its end. And everybody sees that as a certain period. And they all have names. Often there's, they're named after either a king or a queen <laughs> or um, uh, uh, somebody who, who made things at that time. And um, so here we are. Um, here's what it is that I think it's so important still to have the influence of the design of that period, the most powerful design change in that period in which you lived and, and, um, and embrace home, but at the same time to be very conscious of the dwelling in which you abode, you're in, in your abode. Um, like, don't let go of where it came from. It's past or was it made today? And to embrace that todayness of it. And, uh, and, and say, okay, this is the most modern thing of its time. And don't try to cover it up with a look that you cherish, but embrace the look and embrace the period of time and embrace your family, your, where you are in the world specifically, like what country, where, what's on the streets outside of you. 
and just let everything around you um, uh, be, be part of your life. It's natural. Now, that is just saying another rule, isn't it? <laughs> it's saying, embrace this. Don't forget that. Be sure you do this. And it's like, oh, more instructions. <laughs> and I don't mean it that way. <laughs> what I'm really meaning to say is to not not embrace everything that comes into your thought. Don't be afraid. You don't have to embrace everything. You don't have to embrace anything. If that's what you have decided you feel most comfortable with. So I'm really just trying to loosen everything up so that you don't know where you're landing. <laughs> I remember when we started Mackenzie Childs, I, I, I was always trying to stir up tradition, stir up what the, the decorators were doing. I think I've mentioned this in another, and, and not to be disrespectful, but just to claim our ownness in everything. And I think that that's also where interior decorators have, have gone. They've gone to the place where they're there as a servant, not as a, a, a pedantic presence, but rather uh, to glean, to listen, to see, to follow. What is it in the hearts and souls of this particular family that, that I need to help um, turn the lights on for? And so that's what, that's what I'm trying to, to say. I think everything in this whole movement is actually working together right now in that way. But not to um, fall back on, on the easy thing, but always to say, what is this of me? Is it of me? Just ask the question. And if it is, it is. And you stand for it. And you stand by it, whatever that is. <laughs> and, and if it isn't, say, OK, I'm letting go. It doesn't mean everything has to go, but just let go of the burden. And so when sometimes people look at Yankee and they think, well, when you're finished, I'll, I just I want to see it because it's just going to be amazing. And I was thinking, I often think, oh, gosh, <laughs> I think I hope they're not disappointed because I've learned to live along with this old ladyship. And I, I appreciate there's no way I have the funds or the the, the, the support staff that we, we once had um, to, to do whatever seems right, um, to, to kind of make an environment more like this is where we are <laughs> and we have, to, we have to appreciate it so that we're happy every day. Otherwise, we're always looking for something to come and, oh, if we could only get enough money to do this and da 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 And really, let's just live and let's live with what we have. And let's, you know, be glad for it and enjoy it. And if there's a pull in the way, just work around it. <laughs> or say, okay, here we are. <laughs> this is the best of us. <laughs> I'm just using it as a joke to, to let us all just appreciate things and try not to tear apart history, but embrace it. And it doesn't mean we have to copy it or um, implicate it in any way. Just let your individuality lead you, your everyday lead you. And you will find that you are inventing as you go. And you won't feel stuck, and you also won't ever feel like you were caught in a period or in a movement. Like, oh no, the styles have changed. Oh, that's so 80s. Oh, that's so 90s. Oh, that's so Mackenzie Childs. But let's say, let's just, um, and, and oh, that's so Yankee Ferry. <laughs> like, when I leave Yankee Ferry, I'm going to be moving into another situation, obviously, because we always have to dwell somehow or not. <laughs> but, um, but I'm going to, by, by gum, I'm going to get a kick out of wherever, whatever comes my way. And that's exactly what I wanted to say. So let's go see what is going on with the proscenium art and Leonardo. Wow, this is wonderful. Yeah, and just finish oh, this one here. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how much this is the perfect placement. Yeah, and those ones close to the wall, we left, we left yeah. a little bit bigger. Yes. 
Like I said, and this one's a little bit small. That's amazing. Look cool. Oh, I can't get over it. I can't believe you did it. You could get it all reconstructed. Did you have to do a lot of pulling like we yeah, did before? Yeah, sometimes I have to hey, start because one side was a little bit short and the rope and we have to pull oh. all the way around. So, but look from here. Oh. You will be able to see better with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see. Oh, I just. <laughs> and you know, these Turks turbans, that is, that was the key to getting this right. Yeah, it's really it, good. it really is amazing, and they're so substantial. Oh, I can't believe you how much you did just during <laughs> lunch. Thank you so much. It's perfect. It it has Great. such its own little attitude, doesn't it? <laughs> and yeah. you really, you really, it's no mistaking. It's a proscenium arch. <laughs> now we just need the curtains, and we'll be all set. <laughs> so, why don't we? Since this is the bow, why don't we take a bow? Oh, Shall yeah. we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>